So I recorded a video earlier about a Facebook find I had and I recorded it this way. And I think that kind of sucks for YouTube. So I'm redoing this, but I had this really cool Facebook find and I'll tell you guys how much I paid in the end. I'm just gonna turn the camera around and show you everything I got. I'm gonna start here at the most random stuff. This is the most random stuff of the, of the buy. This is not what I went for, but the guy said he was gonna throw some of this stuff away if I didn't get it, so why not? There's a curl bar with some 25 pound plates. So that's a pair of 25 pounds. These I told him to keep them, but that's when he told me, you know, he was just gonna throw them away. A single 30 pound dumbbell pair of 20 pound dumbbells. I don't even know what this is. 10 pounds and then I don't know what is that, like two pounds? And then I've got the curl bar. I've got the trap bar. I've got two barbells. These will be beater bars. They're not the best, but hey, for the price, I can't complain. I'll tell you how much that was at the end. I got this, I don't know what brand this is. I think never heard of it, but it's kind of heavy. And it's, I think it's better than the then the bench I have now, I have an Inspire bench, super short, and I'm gonna be using this one instead. This one is also pretty cool, look at this machine right here. That's a cool machine. I have a, a cage, I have a, a like a, one of those racks, but this is pretty cool. Then check, this is what I went for. I already started cleaning earlier, but I'll show some of the before pictures. I'm using a, a wire brush. There's Three pairs of 45 pounds. Gets even crazier. There's this white tree here. I went to the store to get, to get this lime away so that I could clean this stuff. Cause I saw um, on YouTube videos that use that. Check this out. Oh my goodness. 35 pound plates. There is one, two, three pairs of them. 25 pound plates. Two pairs of those, one pair of the 10 pound plates, two pairs of the five pound plates, two pairs of the two and a half pound plates. These are my max, my max weight right here. These were part of the other ones I told them to keep, but threw them in there anyway. And then there's, hey, it's like a five. That might be the, the matching pair of the set of the other one, an eight. So, I'll add up the total of the weight. You guys wouldn't believe how much it was. All this for $200, $200. It's kind of a weird Facebook post. I saw it and I knew I had to jump on it because he had posted it like 38 minutes ago. And it, all it said was something about pro style weights or something like that. And he had the worst pictures. He had a picture of, he had a picture of that. I think he had a picture of the bench. And I think he had a picture of like some of the 45 pounds and the description said eight 45 pound plates. There's only six. I don't know what, what happened there, but it's okay. And then he, he had 35 pounds, 25 pounds, tens, fives. The description was very vague. The pictures were terrible, but I was like, if there's really eight 45 pound plates and there's 35s, 25s, tens, fives, I got to jump on this. And so, I've been wanting to get a little bit more plates to weigh down the, the rack I have in my basement because there's 45 pounds on there now, but you know, when we start using them, it takes weight off the rack and it makes it kind of sus. So I wanted some of the 45 pound plates for a while to, to weigh it down a little bit. And then all the other stuff was just bonuses. I didn't think I was gonna like this, but it's actually pretty cool. I think he said it was from like a local high school. Not bad at all. I don't know if it'll hold my 900 pound squat, 700 pound bench. And uh, not, I guess you don't deadlift on there, but it's even got a a little like that pull down thing here. And it's smoother than I expected it to be. So that's pretty cool. He has a, a little bar for that pull down right there. Incredible find, 200 bucks. Now I got a lot of work to do because like I said, they're really dirty and rusty. I'll, I'll post some before and after pictures. All right, so I've knocked off a bit of the rust and some of the dirt with a shop vac and, uh, and a brush. Not that brush, I use this model. That one right there. 
I think I'm gonna go over, I saw one where right there, I missed them. Like a big dirt spot there, so I'm gonna go over that again. And other than that, I'm just gonna, go, gonna brush off some of the dirt that I missed. And after this, I'm gonna hit it with uh, some of that lime green stuff. I forgot what it's called, but just knocking some of this off and then I'm gonna take the shot back. Let me get loud, cover your ears. Right with this lime away a few sprays hope i'm not out already yeah. some of these are worse the ones on the right kind of tempted not to spray them i'm gonna spray them anyway i don't know if it's this stuff or just the from the rust for the brush but there's some of the paint was coming off on some of these other those other ones it doesn't really matter. I mean, I kind of prefer them to be the black color that they originally were, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. We still got a lot to go. I've got these as good as I'm gonna get them. Maybe one day in the future, I'll I'll take care of them a little more, but right now, uh, it took a while. Right now I'm pretty tired. I still have all those. I also just clean this with a disinfectant spray there it's probably a little overkill but i don't know how long it's been sitting at dude's garage so do the same thing with this it's still you know it's still kind of wet i might have to take a rag to it again so far it's looking good i'm gonna keep taking progress pictures so i just finished spraying these with lime away i scrubbed them with a with a brush and then i wiped them clean with a towel and they're looking better these are in great condition these are in pretty good condition. These, I think I might need to spray them again. We'll see how it goes. They're looking a lot better so far though. That's what it looks like when I scrub them with the lime away. Then I just wipe it off. And look how dirty that is. All that rust coming off. This is the second time I do it for this one. I did it twice for these two, these because these are looking pretty good already. Look how close this rag gets. And it does a pretty good job. If you compare this to how it looked when I first got them, this is crazy. I'm sure with the with the light, it also looks a little worse. But check that out. Still. It's not as rusty as it looks in there, it's still all wet. But that's hard to get to, I don't know how I'm gonna get to that. I think it's just, it just kind of dries off like like it did with these. Check out the condition of these. I'm not planning to get these perfect. I wanna do a pretty good job, job with them. So, compare those two. Check that out. Check out that right there. Wiping this away. Check that out. I'm running out of these blue rags too. The towels, wherever they're called. I think these are kind of expensive. I'm gonna have to order some more. This is all I got left. I'm also getting really tired. I've still got to do some 25s, some 10s, 5s, 2 and a halfs. Yeah, look, it's looking, looking a lot better so far. I don't know if I don't know if I want to do a third time. Maybe they're just looking so much better already compared to how they were. Give me a little close up of these that I did. I didn't do the best job on the sides there. I wonder if I should redo the sides. I just sprayed them. I had them laying down flat, and I stacked them up against each other, on top of each other. So imagine I had these stacked and I sprayed the sides and then I kind of brushed them. It was not, not like it was kind of an awkward angle. That's why they didn't come out the best. But they are looking a lot better so far. I might end the video here soon. 
Let me know what you guys think. Should I spray these and try to get them cleaner? Did you guys like this video? So I thought I was done, but I forgot about the back. Check out the back of these plates. I'll clean them up right now, don't you worry. I'll clean them up real good. I just finished scrubbing these, and this is what they look like so far. Not too bad. I want to go over these again. The only problem is, I'm all out. Actually, I have that in. But I might use that for like the sides. Who knows? I'll just have to continue this some other time. So I'm back in the garage to continue where we left off. I, I went to Walmart and I got a few more supplies. I'll show you that in a second. Went to Walmart, got more supplies because I was out of the towels. And while I was there, I got some WD-40. I'm almost out of that lime away. And so I got this, it looks similar. And it was cheaper, so hopefully it works. I still have more of the lime away though. And then I got some brushes. So we're gonna keep going. We have a few more. So I've got a few more of the place laid out. Look how nasty these are. I didn't get a close up of the others, but the others were a little bit worse. So what I'm gonna do first is take a, the vacuum, the shop vac to them, just to get the nasty stuff off. This is from yesterday, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going on this. Look at those. Take the shop vac to them, and then I'm gonna spray them with the lime oil and start scrubbing away. So I was doing all this work, I figured I might as well record it. And uh, actually I kind of lied when I said I would spray them with that lime away after I vacuumed them up. I'm actually gonna take one of these brushes. I'm gonna take one of these brushes and I'm gonna knock the, the loose dirt off of them. And then I'm gonna vacuum them one more time. And then, then I'm going to, that, and then I'm gonna spray with the lime away and keep going. So hopefully, get some of this on video. I can already see it's a lot of progress is being made. I'll put one of the ones over here. So you can see it a little better. So you can see how this is knocking some of that stuff away. So just finish scrubbing these. I vacuumed them just to get the big stuff off and then I scrubbed them off, hopefully to knock some of the little stuff off, I think. Not hopefully, it did knock some of the little stuff off. So now I'm gonna vacuum it and I'm gonna show that on video so it's about to get loud. Started looking a little better. Now I can spray them with lime away. I'm already tired. Under this material, will clean it a little better. So we'll compare this side because I just scrubbed this side with this brush. I think it's like a harder type of. Uh, I forget what it's called, brush, but we'll compare it with this and see if it looks better. We'll do that after uh, I get all the others. So this is what I was doing all day yesterday with the 45 pound plates and the 35 pound plates, but I was using this one. I've got this bigger one for the back of them. And then I guess I can still use this for the side here. 
I just wish this was this material. I have a brush the size that is this material, but it's all full of grease. Cause I forgot where I used it. I used it to clean car parts and it's all full of grease and I can't take it off. I tried. I almost ruined this one trying to clean the other one. See, I think this one just, just gets in there better. It's like, a, it's like a harder material for that brush. This tire. Before I start doing all that scrubbing, let's see, let's see how it even looks. Okay, let's start with this one. Wow. Okay. That's why I ran out yesterday of these blue towels because they go by quick, but I got a nice big roll here. That's also why I have gloves on. This is nasty. See, let's see the inside of that. Wow. That would scrape up against my barbell. So I really want to get those insides. I really don't want to touch the, <laughs> the bone right now, but if you compare this one with this one, I think, you know what? I'll just, I'll just grab the, the camera anyway. So that one I didn't scrub with that harder brush at all. This one I did, and I mostly scrubbed it on there. I don't think I scrubbed the bottom. I think it looks a little better on top. It's hard to see on camera. Hell, it's hard to see in person just because the lighting sucks in this garage, but it looks a little better on the top. So I think it is worth it doing it with that wire brush. Let's see how this one looks. I'm really curious to see how this one looks. Okay, it's difficult to do with one hand, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing this and then I'll turn the camera back on once I get some more progress done. It's really difficult to get in between the letters. I think I'm gonna have to like air dry that part. I'm gonna get as much as I can. Yeah, this, this one here is looking good. I don't remember how bad this one was, but it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I gotta scrub this one. Gotta get back scrubbing. Yeah, I can see, I can see all the rust coming off. It is a lot of work, but give me some sense of satisfaction doing this. Some of the paint's coming off. I think I said this in another video, but I don't know if it's if it's this or if it's just because of the rust. Either way, it doesn't matter all that much. You can always paint it. I don't want to paint over the rust. I feel like that would be just half-assing it. So, trying to get as much of the rust off as I can. So here's what we'll see if this is uh, the scrubbing and the lime away is taking off the paint because this one didn't really have any rust. So this one has some paint missing and we know it's not the rust. If this one has a whole bunch of paint missing, I'm going to be a little sad because I, I, I should have just left it alone in that case because this one wasn't rusted. But this serves as a little cleaning anyway. I still see the paint on it, so it must be the rust. It's taking off the paint. 
makes me feel a little better. So it's not like I was causing it. The paint was already on. I was just, I was just exposing it. They're looking better. It's coming right off. Okay, now I gotta scrub those again. I think I'll keep using this one even though it's tiny. It's like the the material of this. Let me take the rest off. Could I do more? Probably. I could probably do it again. I don't know if I will. What do you guys think? Do you think it's looking better? I think it's looking so much better, especially compared to how it was before we started cleaning it. This one I started cleaning yesterday, but I ran out of towels. That stopped. Yeah, let's get tired. I may not look like it, but this is tiring. Not like tiring, I guess it's mostly in the back. Oh, it hurts my lower back a little bit. It's on fire. My lower back kind of always hurts in here. This is not helping. I feel like I had a good rhythm on that one, not really on this one. All right, let's see how it looks. Oops. Look at this. Can you see the towel? Believe it or not, there's a blue towel here. Ah, I mean, it looks better. Still see some rust on it. I feel some rust on it too, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. There's definitely some like rust right there that I can feel with my hand. Oh, okay. What's going on? It's okay. Still feel a little bit, but wow, looks good. I think I think those might be done. Yep, looking pretty good. Let's see if I can just get a little bit more on this one. I can't take the dog outside. It's kind of late. Not super late, but maybe what? Eight o'clock, nine o'clock? I'm gonna have to take him inside. I saw that you can you can give these like a bath in vinegar or something like that. And I I didn't want to do it because I wanted to do it faster. <laughs> I didn't realize how much work this was going to be, honestly. So I might have to look into that again. Then again, I'm almost done. Took the dog inside. Now I have to flip these over. I'm going to pick up a little bit. Don't do it again. This actually looks kind of cool. All the paint's coming off and stuff, but it looks pretty cool. Same thing with this one. Oh, wow, that was nasty. Yeah, these I'm gonna brush them off really quick. Just get the dirt off. I might move these over to the side. Let's see, I wonder if I can get more of this off. Uh, let's see, because you got a lot of rust on the side. Looks like he's getting a lot of the rust off. 
I was trying to do it the lazy way where I stacked them up on top of each other, sprayed them and kind of scrubbed them while they were stacked. But this looks like it's taking them off so much more. Wow. Check that out. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> it's okay. I'm about out of this bottle. Oh, good thing you fell that way, huh? <laughs> Shit. I don't know how much more effort I want to put in scraping these sides off. Let's we'll see if that'll come off. All right, moment of truth. It didn't really come off. <laughs> it's still there, so I guess it's just gonna stay that way. Oh, what? Now that I'm looking at this side, it doesn't look that great. Guess I'm doing this side. <laughs> oh man. And I have to do, oh yeah, wow. I didn't realize how much it actually took off. You compare the two side by side. It's not complete, not a super fair comparison. This is all, I thought it was all, uh, wow. Check that out. I might have to go look at the other ones I did where I didn't do this and see if they look like this. Cause... You know what? I don't know if I got to these at all. Cause this, look at this. I hope the ones from yesterday did not look like that. Huh. Okay. All right. Got more work to do. Got this other one. It's lime and rust. Doesn't have the C, whatever the C was. Calcium. This was cheaper. See how it goes. Yeah, I'll compare the two if I can, if I get some more out of this. I can if I just have it flat like this. Definitely get my money's worth out of this one. It was like 425. I actually didn't have this nice brush yesterday. It's like hard material. Oh, this one smells a lot better. So this is a lot of manual work. Maybe if it was up on a table, it'd be a little better, huh? I don't know if I have a table like that. I do have a table. Let's see how that side looks so far. Wow, it amazes me how that looks. Oh, no way, look at that. That looks like black paint, that was like rust. I wonder if that's from one of the weights. That's it seems to like, it kind of looks like it, but it kind of doesn't. What do you guys think, is that paint? You know, my back's hurting. It's still 
looking pretty rusty. This one sounds different. I don't know if it's this, but it sounds like some paint is coming off. Just in the way it scrapes. I'll have to go back and look at the before and after because I can't really tell if this is looking better. I think it is looking a little better. Still a little bit wet with all the rust water in there, so it's hard to tell, but I think it is looking a little better. Yeah, compared to this one, I think it definitely is looking better. I still have to get the edges on that one. I might be just doing this set today and going. I'm even thinking of going inside after I do the scrub this one, do the edge around that one. Man, I still have the back of these and then the, the edges of them. Oh, well, nice. That was amazing me when I wipe this clean and reveal a silver and black. A lot less of that. Oh, a lot less of that rust. I might do a rotation of a scrubbing and then drying off. Oh yeah, wow. I keep saying that, but it looks so much nicer. I do have to bring back another set of 45s I took inside of it yesterday because I got them in better lighting and I did not, I do not like the way they look. So I have to bring those back out. I took a picture of them, I'll put it on the picture. I'll put it on the video. Yep. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. The transformation, not the work. Can't get the transformation without the work, so. Unless the vinegar bath does it without the work, then you can, but you know what I mean. definitely helps. I think the video, the comment I saw in the video said the dude just wiped it off, but it doesn't come off nearly as much. I can see this part is scraped off. There's no rust in here. I just wiped it off right now and there's rust. And I have to put some of this back on here. Yeah, scrubbing definitely helps. Ready to hang up. So you dry a little bit. Check it out. Yeah, if I do it at an angle, it looks worse. Straight down like that, not too bad. If I do it at an angle, I can see more rust. Especially by the letters. Let's see right there. Just do one spot there, see how that looks. comes off. It comes off. I wasn't getting in between the letters good. You know, rust comes off if I scrub it in between. You know, this is a lot of work for a 35 pound plate. They're probably like a dollar a pound. So what, $35 for this? Could just get a new one. But what's the point of that? You know, you get to restore this. There's something cool about restoring something, not just tossing it and getting something new. And when I have these, when I pass them on to my children, you tell them 
I got these from Facebook for $200 for about 680 pounds with uh, barbells and a, a weight machine. Who knows, maybe I'll even have that weight machine still. Maybe I'll have all of it. I tell them the story. I show them this video. This rust still kind of there at the angle, even after I scrubbed it. So I think it's just gonna stick. Now I can hang this guy. Let him dry. I get the cord for this one, the edges. Hopefully you can see that. Check that out. It's dry already. Check out that difference. I don't know if you can see it in the video and it still looks like it's got some rust on it. Probably probably still does, but in in real life it just looks so much nicer. Even when I'm scrubbing I can feel I can feel the difference. So rest is this part was cleaned off. You can still see the rust in here, but it looks a lot better. I could probably also do multiple like passes on this thing. Do it a couple of times. But I don't know if it's worth doing it. Considering how much work it is. Let's see here. It doesn't even come, come off completely either. See it still stays on there. So I don't think it's worth doing completely, but I think Made some good progress on this. Yeah, it looks so much better than it did. I'm just gonna dry it off. He's good to go. I just realized it's about nine o'clock and so I've been at it for maybe an hour and a half to two hours. I didn't make as much progress as I thought I would. And I think it was because the brush was smaller and I think I was putting a little more effort into it today. But that's okay, I made some progress. I've tempted to keep on going, but I got the 35 pound plates done, I think, and then half of a third of the 25 pound plates. So I think we might call it for today. It is, I believe, day three of cleaning the plates, restoring the plates, and I'm gonna change the strategy up a little bit. I'm gonna try to use this a little bit more because it's been taking longer than I expected. It's a bit colder today, so that's why I cut my hoodie up. So we'll see how it goes today. So I moved them around a little bit just so that they're closer to the camera. And I'm going to be starting soon. I didn't put a lot of, I didn't put a lot of pressure on this one. I'll try with more pressure, but so far it's not going well. It's going a lot better with some pressure. That's one thing that kept happening when I was using this. Cool. You can't see shit with this. That also sounds like it's kind of dying. Oh shit, it's definitely dying. All right, I'm gonna go charge this thing. <laughs> There's just so much more coming off when I do it by hand. At least it looks like it. I think that's from the brush. 
Try to kind of lot. We'll clean this brush up outside. So I think I cleared a lot of. I think I took a lot of a lot of the rust off of this brush outside. I don't know if I really have to spray these with the uh, liquid, but maybe I'll do a couple of them. Some of the more rusty ones. These are actually not too bad from the back. This one's probably the worst one. And then I guess I'll try this one. That one's looking good. Do a little bit here. Do a little bit here. I ended up doing almost all of them, huh? <laughs> See how this goes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get my gloves on. Alright, got the gloves on. I did notice when I was running the vacuum over them, there was like some light scratches. I'm sure uh, there's, those aren't going to stay on there, but I did notice that. Didn't say anything, but I doubt it was anything serious. And if it does scratch the plates a little bit, who cares? I'm just trying to take as much of this rust off as I can. And I was actually thinking, maybe I, I should turn this into like a nice restoration project. So not just taking off the the rust like I had planned to do. That was all I was gonna do. I was just gonna knock off the rust, but then I started getting into it and I wanted to take more and more off. And then I started thinking, why don't I take off the rust and then paint them, make them look kind of nice. That'd be a time consuming project, but it'd be fun. And I'm, I'm guessing this part is the most time consuming. <laughs> this part is the most time consuming. I guess you would just, I would just spray them at the end with some sort of rust, anti-rust thing, and then maybe some paint. This has got to be the hardest part of it, I'm hoping. But it could be fun, let me know what you guys think. I had a leg workout today, and I felt my lower back, I always feel my lower back a little bit after my leg workouts. And then of course I come out here and I feel it even more. So I'm already feeling it. I don't think that's a good thing. I'm not that old, I'm only 25. You know, comparing this, the ones I did to the ones I didn't do, the ones I did look nicer, so I should, I'm gonna do all of them. I was looking at the other 35 I did yesterday, or two days ago doesn't look good and I I did them over again I don't know if you guys remember but I I redid them so I, I had done them one day the next day I came out here and I said these kind of suck so I redid them I came back today and that one still kind of sucks so it might just be that way and I think that was the last one you know what This one, this one looks, this one looks better than this one. So I don't think I did this one. I don't remember, but it looks like this is the one I did not do. Cause that one looks pretty good. What the hell is up with this one? This one's pretty rusty. I'm pretty sure I did this one. It's still rusty though. I want to see what this half looks like. Like I said, some of these are just, I think they're just really rusty. It always looks a little better when it's wet too, I noticed. After, right after I finish them and they're a little wet, 
and after I just wipe them off, they look really good and then they dry up and I see them again and I think, what the hell happened here? They're looking good so far. Now I gotta get the, the round part and that's gonna take a minute. Okay, I'm gonna do them one at a time, starting with, I think this one. Yeah, check that out. Oh man, the 35s and I think the 45s had like little lines so I could see where the thirds were. This one, I can't read. Wow. I just saw this part right here. Looks bad. What the heck? I remember I scrubbed these a lot. But I'm still seeing some stuff here. That's probably what happened with all of them. Like those, those 40, I have a set of 45s I have to bring back out because I saw them inside the basement. I did not like the way they looked. And I think it's just the way they are. I haven't really done this before. I don't know if the rust will like, keep spreading in the basement, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe that's why I should do the whole restoration with the rust products. See, I drew the hard line around. I think it was right there. I think you can see the difference. Yeah, it's worth doing. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. So this is the first time I do anything like this. So I got no experience doing this. As you probably already tell. So I'm probably doing everything the hard way. But this one's looking pretty good. Let's see if I can do a quick comparison. The one right next to it. So like yesterday it looked like I was do I did a really good job on these and then looking at them today it looks like there's still so much rust. I'll start on the barbell and on the letters that say barbell. Even when you put the product on and just like wipe it, it takes off some of the rust, which is cool. But it doesn't take as much, doesn't take off as much as when you scrub it. I saw that the other day. For some reason today it smells like sewer. All right, another one done. And I'll start the bark up. That's three. Yeah, some of these areas just have a little more less. That's four. Are they, you know what I'm just noticing? I'm just noticing there's no like gaps between barbell or 25 pounds, 1.3 kilos. Are they all like that? I never, didn't notice that. Huh. Interesting. Last one. This one also has no space. We'll try to start at the B barbell. This one feels like it's got a lot of rust on the edges. Let's 
Yeah, check it out. I think it looks a lot better. That was the last one of the 25s. Other than the ones I have to redo, these are the last ones. This one has like spider webs and a sticker. Yeah, I feel like with that, all I did was take the pen off of the letters. We'll see how it looks after a vacuum. Doesn't feel like much came off, honestly. But, I'm gonna keep going. They don't look much different. Is it because they don't have a lot of rust to begin with? Some of the other ones, I wiped it off and I saw a big difference. Okay, I keep going. I keep going. Go to the two and a half, so it'll be a nice little break. Hopefully. Watch these be the, the most difficult ones since they're so tiny. It's harder to dry, I think, because I definitely can't get in between the layers as easy. I saw that when I first put this on. Must have overlooked it. I don't know if you'll catch it in the camera, but there's just one spot that feels rough compared to the, the rest of the spots. It's definitely not nearly as much rust coming off these. You see, sometimes you see it get all orange. This one should be all done. Let's see what, what it looks like. The bad thing about not wiping them off as I roll them over is that it leaves some of that liquid on the, on the mat. Then I can't dry it as well or as fast. But I don't spend as much time, you know, wiping them off and then setting them down. Like this guy's done. I'll hang him to dry too. This one has some rust there. You can see that. It really looked like it took some of that rust off. The other one, it didn't look like it took anything off. This one I can tell. Yeah, then you can see it here. You can see, I think that's where the rust was. It's a cool look to it. Now I gotta start doing the edges. I think I was going in like a circular motion for the bigger ones, but it's, it's difficult to do that on these small ones. Like you can't really do a circular motion. 
Oh, we need a toothbrush. Oh, this is a really rusty spot here. It's another little rusty spot right there. Some more rusty spots here. I feel like I should have uh, gone around completely right now, but I still see lovely rusty spots. Wipe it off, see what, what, what it looks like. Some of these spots, like right here, is like a chip. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of the rust off. Uh, actually, yeah, I did. About half of it. Let's see if I got the other half. Not quite. But hey, looks pretty good. Try it off and then it'll be done. There's that one. See the there's that one rusty spot. I'm gonna go hang it up. I'm gonna get some fresh air. This year. I think I'm gonna do the same thing where I get the whole thing done one at a time. I like the way that looks like. I think that was rust. Now it's got that silver color. It looks cool. This brush is getting uneven. Looks good. Almost done. Got a sticker on this one. It was like a, one of those at a price, and they put an orange sticker on it. Well, the orange sticker came off, but I see the white one clearly. It says cap, two inch black five pound plate. OP-005 made in China. You gotta get up. It's hurting my elbow there. So I've moved the weights into the basement. They are in their home for now. I'm still not sure if I want to put the rust and paint them and all that. But for right now, there's a handsome guy over there. But for right now, they're in their new home. So, 45 pound plates are here. It's way down this sus rack bar, rack bar, power rack. And then uh, I got this like weight tree. Here are the 25s. I already had some of them. So, like the gray ones I already had. The black ones are the new ones. So, I got the fives here. Uh, this is all uh, old stuff. These are the ones we just cleaned up. So, are some of these. And then I got another power rack over here. See, this is what I was talking about where it looks good and then 
you know, a couple days later, the next day, it just looks terrible. But yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want to see a restoration video where I paint them. So right now I just scrubbed them. Let me know if you want to see, if you want to see me do more. I just came upstairs. There's a spooky basement where I keep the home gym, but let me know if you want to tour the home gym too.